Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. I'm Brian Morning. And I'm Lady Shura. And in this episode, we're going to be heading towards more of the Dark World to complete some more tasks and get some more items. Luckily, there's no monkey with us this time. Ew, he's such a filthy, ugly monkey. I know, I like hate him. him. As we always hate the monkeys in any game. I ever. always hate monkeys, not even in games, just all the time. Just in real life in general. Yes. And yes, I know that very well. Remember the time we went to that zoo and we saw those monkeys and we were... Yes, there was no... We were so hating them. There was no fence in between us and them. They could have easily jumped or, like, flung their poop at me or something. <laughs> you were paranoid that they were going to just jump on over. <laughs> they were so scary. Who they were doesn't... sleepy. No, they, they were just looking woken at me. up for the day. They saw me. Yeah, because oh. you woke them up. I didn't do anything. You entered their area. Well... The monkey area. I didn't want to. We had to for my friend's project. <laughs> like, she had to go and, like, study something about, like, evolution, I think is the class. And so she just had to go to the monkey house, and I was, like, freaking Okay, you're going to want to take your mirror here and just teleport to the light world, because there is an item here that we can't get otherwise. <gasps> Look at him. A piece of heart. Now, quickly retreat. Get Before away from he gets guy, you. Because he's evil. An evil bastard. We can hit him with that to get him away from us. Oh, good. But we can't kill him. Well, we can't kill him, but there's no point to. We're just going to leave him be. All right, let's make our way back to shore. We can't get in there yet. That's one of the temples that we have yet to complete. Oh, cool. Oh, get away from me. What is that thing? It's an ice temple. There's some people that have uh, quite a bit of problems trying to do that temple. I oh, don't know the, if you're aware of the that. The ice temple? The ice temple. Some people get lost and confused and quite delirious trying to figure out the uh, riddles oh, no. of the temple. I hope we do okay. I'm sure we'll do okay. All right, try to beat these guys over here. They're annoying. Go away, die. Okay. Oh no, what are these? Now you can take out your magic hammer here. Oh, and I start forgot about that bashing already. bashing these little things in. He comes to life, but oh. you can easily outrun him. I wasn't expecting that at all. Or you can just not activate him, I suppose. Oh, look out. Let's make our way over. So it's a very nifty item we want to get. I did mention something a little earlier in a few episodes ago about fast travel in this game. Yeah. And we're going to try to get that right now. The item that lets you do that. Ooh. If you see that little tree right there, his eyes move. He's what? actually an alive tree. Where? I didn't see. Right, we passed him, but you can go back and watch it if you want. Okay, well. Oh, look oh, at this guy him. over here. I don't know what you're supposed to be. Oh, he's but, so uh, cute. But he used to enjoy playing the flute in the original world. Oh. No, that's not perverted. That's just a real musical flute. I thought so. Oh, he's going to lend us a shovel. How nice. That's the fast travel? Yeah, the magic <laughs> shovel. We just ride that around. <laughs> like no. a broom. No, we have to search for something. Oh. An item in the light world, or on the spot. Oh, does the magical shovel... Oh, look, it's that little dink. boy in the forest. Yeah, I figured that was who the the fox guy was. Interesting, huh? Wait, what happened to him? Well, he just disappeared, because he's not really here now, is he? Let's oh. take out that nifty shovel and try to use it. Dig in the flowers, and we get the Ocarina of Time. Oh, man. Or the flute. Oh. But it's kind of a little preview of the Ocarina of Time now, isn't it? Yeah. Weird. Anyway, go back over and give it to uh, this guy right here. Is he Link too? He's not Link, no. Oh. Look at Link over there, though. He's like bowing to him. He's like, oh. <laughs> it's getting a little bit hazy here, so let's play the flute for a moment of time. Isn't that beautiful? What a beautiful song. He's enjoying the music too, I think. He doesn't seem to have any emotion. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, oh God. My. He was a tree? And he transforms into a tree. Is that good or bad? I really don't know what that means. <laughs> but um, now he's a tree completely now. Would you rather be a tree or a little fox guy? I don't think he was a fox. He was kind of a tree-ish being before. Really? It's like one of those tree ants. Oh, get away from me. Oh God, he's really coming right. at you. Go to the light world over here in those bushes, and you'll appear somewhere neat. Oh, it looks like you should, you should dig that. No, you don't want to dig that. That's a bomb in underground. Uh, Get another piece of heart well in this then. area. And let's try to fulfill our heart meter. Good. We did that. Very nice. So Good now job. we can move on back to the dark world because there's some more things we want to do over there. Since we got the magic hammer, we can pretty much explore almost everything there is in this world. That's there's, nice. There's still a few things that are inaccessible, but no, nothing too major. We get most of the uh, important items before we head off to the temples. We're probably going to save that for the next episode, I think. Ah. All right, let's take a look around here. Oh, Ooh, there's a weirdo with a shovel. Who are you? Welcome to the treasure field. Oh. Okay, now... It's expensive. Uh, we're just going to cut ahead, because this can take a while, to the shot where I finally do get the item that we want. 
Otherwise, we can spend an hour doing this. All right, we're gonna get a shovel and we can dig with the A button. All right, so we only have eight seconds to go over here. But can we get the item? Will we get it? Well, I did leave this in, so we're probably gonna get it. Yes, with one second left, we get oh, the piece wow. of heart. That was cutting it close. But uh, luckily we did get it. That was a few tries for me. I don't know, I think I must have done it about 10 times. I did get a bit of money there too, so that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, let's go up here. Actually, we get a shovel over there. I know it might be a little bit confusing because we got the shovel from that one guy, but yeah. after we used it, it went away. Oh. And then we had to rent a shovel from that weird lady-like creature over there. Oh, that and now the shovel's lady. gone yet again. Oh no. So you don't get to keep the shovel, but uh, you do use it in just those two places. Oh, okay. I don't so think there's any no other point digging. in the game where you have to use it. All right, so what can we do now? Well, let's head back up to Kakariko Village. Because if you remember, there was an old man that was mumbling about his son who got lost. Oh, yeah. So let's talk to this guy right over here. We'll show him the uh, flute that we got. Mumble, mumble. Oh, this is my son's flute. Well, he's kind of a tree now. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, I can tell what you mean to say by the looks in your eyes. I didn't know we had a look in our eyes that's considered that your son turned to a tree. Look. Yeah. I'll have to master that one. But we can play it to um, the bird in the village square. Oh, of course. That little statue that we see. Hmm, interesting. I wonder what that could possibly do. I mean, it's just a statue, right? Wrong. Well, let's try it. It's a bird. I don't know. No reaction so far. So it's pretty interesting. The flute turned that guy in the dark world into a tree. And right now it's going to turn this little statue into a bird. Oh, it's a cute it's bird. It's the Aflac duck. Look at yeah. Him. Aflac. That's what he kind of looks like to me. He <laughs> I does. I don't know. All right. Did you see, see the you new Aflac commercial? It's nope. like actual people, not a duck. And they're like, oh yeah, whenever I go talk to people, they're always like, oh, did you bring the duck with you? And they're like talking to you like you're an idiot. Okay, but now we can teleport to any of these oh, places here. Oh, what a nice helpful duck. We just duck. pull the bird and he can fly us anywhere. So let's go over here for right now. Spot number seven, which is the swamp area. Oh, he's so helpful. I love him. I know, he's a cute bird. He's going to come in handy in a few places. I wish I, I could use you, him in four uh, swords. I think you have to get him to complete the game. Because there's one part in particular where you have to use him. I'm not sure what happens if you don't get him, because, you know, it is possible to not get him. But uh, I'm not quite sure what happens, actually. It's interesting. Oh, I never tried it before, but I'm just thinking about it right now. But who would want to go without him? He's so cute. Yeah, he is cute. Okay, anyway, we're gonna come over here. We can actually go to the temple from here, because it's right south of us. But, but uh, we're not going to, because we're gonna do the temples out of order. It's like messing around with the game. Uh... But we are gonna get something else in this area, which is to the left. Uh, I don't know if you remember those pendants we got. Well, not the pendants, but the medallions. Mm -hmm. We got the medallion for Aether. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Near Death Mountain. I remember. And uh, over here, we can get another one. Uh, just hit over this way. There's these weird little posts, which seem to serve no purpose, but if you when use When you hit the, them, uh, they look like boobs. <laughs> that's true. But if you <laughs> use the mirror here, you teleport into um, a little plateau region, I guess. Oh, what's that? Use the Book of Medora to translate this ancient text. And we hold up our Master Sword. He comes flying around, but we are able to bomb him with our new medallion. Oh, wow. And set him on fire. What's it called? The Bombos Medallion. Oh. Its magic makes the ground explode with power. Well, at least that makes sense. The Ether one, I'm like, why is it called Ether? What? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It is a bit of a weird name for it, but let's check out where we are. Yeah, we do have the locations on our map to the dungeons. But uh, let's take a look. What can I do right now? I'm trying to figure out. I think we can get up there, but we have to do a bit of walking around first. Because there are a few extra items we can get. Oh, uh, look at all these guys. They're trying to get my way, trying to... <laughs> Go away. <laughs> they're I so hate annoying. them. Tentacles. These little cabbage things. I don't know what they're supposed to be. I don't know either. Like giant cabbages that are trying to attack you. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever they're supposed to be. Did you ever see that movie, The Blob? No, I don't think so. Oh, classic. That You're... guy will steal your shield. You want to stay clear of him. Oh, is he a like-like? I don't know if I mentioned it before. He's kind of like a like-like, but he's um, the Maybe dark he's world version of a like-like, I suppose. Oh, a dark-like. A dark-like. He's just a... He's a dislike-dislike. Oh, nice. That's what he would be. Oh, it's another little fox guy. Yeah, he gives you money. Oh, thanks. For no reason at all. That's nice of I him. I guess he wants to keep this area secret. I don't know why. Is he 300 rupees? Pretty cool. There are more rupees in there, so I'm not going to open them up, because that would just be wasteful. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Wasteful acquiring. 
But uh, we're gonna skip ahead to another location here because we don't wanna be here right now. We got most of the secrets over here. So uh, yeah, let's just cut ahead. Okay, and we're just a little further north. We're gonna be heading up from here to uh, another location where we can get yet another medallion. Oh man, how many are there? Just three? Just the three. Oh, okay. And then we're done. Does this one have a proper name? Uh, it'll have a name, yes. I don't know if you'll find it proper. We'll see in a few minutes. <laughs> but um, to be honest, we're only going to be using the Ether Medallion. The oh. other ones don't really have too much of a purpose. Well, they do have a purpose like once in the game. Because I think with each of the medallions, you have to use them to open up one temple. Oh, okay. Like when you get to the final few temples, you have to use a medallion to open them up. I don't know why. But I guess they kind of want to throw it in. Uh, you kind of should purpose. have had these, so they open the temple. Oh, that's a shop. We don't want to mess with him. But he's cute. <laughs> I guess so. He's doing something weird with his hands, though. I'm not quite sure. Oh, God, I didn't see. Was oh, and also, um, I think I, I didn't mention this, but when I had that cut out before, I also went ahead and upgraded more of my items, so now I have more arrows and bombs. Oh, God. As you can see, I don't have the 999 rupees anymore. That's what I went and spent it on, if you were wondering. Big spender. I know, but I think um, I have them fully upgraded now, so we don't really need to spend any more money on that. That's good. 70 and 50, I think that's the max you can get. Ooh, purple. that's like a random 70. Yeah, it is rather random. I don't know why they thought of it like that. 50 is kind of, you know, Curses that's to anyone who throws this in my circle of stones, that's what it said. Or something you didn't like throw that. it there, though. I paraphrased, maybe. Yeah, I kind of missed, so I had to get something else to throw in. I was going to throw in his own signpost, which would have been ironic. Oh, he's a big... Oh, it's well, a magic card. Was it you disturb my peaceful nap? Well, he just gives us an item, so Curse I don't know. to you. That's a weird curse, I guess. <laughs> Take this pretty thing and go away. There's actually going to be another little area we can get cursed again. But it's actually going to be helpful to us. Another helpful curse? Yeah. <laughs> okay. But uh, I think we're probably going to do that in the next episode. Cause I, have to I get... wish all curses were helpful. In this game, it's almost like every curse is. Sweet. I think we get two curses, and both of them are pretty useful to us. Curse you. Uh, so there's nothing else to really do up here. You could go to Zora's River in the main world, the light world, mm -hmm. but there's no equivalent in this one. Kind of strange. Oh. Too bad. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's go over this way. Let's go in the waterway. Maybe you can find something cool. I don't know. Lots there of should be, um, guys. There should be those teleportation Zora whirlpool yeah, thingies. But there's not? Yeah, there oh, there's are. one. They have them in the light world and the dark world, too. Let's see where it takes us. Okay. Uh, we were around here before. Well, let's check it out anyway. Maybe there's something good. Okay. We can just get over here without being bombed. Oh my god. Those guys are very annoying. Vicious. And they always avoid your sword, too. There we go. Finally. Such a pain. Okay, let's go up here. Because back in the light world, we can get a few items. I don't know what's the equivalent in the dark world. The cave is still here, so let's explore it. Oh, oh like a little music group. What going. is that? Oh, it's a hand. Why is there a you hand? Give him rupees for some information. He used to be he's a, a thief. thief in the light world, and his fellow thieves went to hiding. There's a master locksmith, but he's now hiding, pretending to be a strange middle-aged guy. Well, we did see someone like that before, now didn't we? There were lots of strange people in this game. Lots of strange middle-aged people <laughs> in this game, but there's one in particular near the entrance to the desert. The one that has the sign next to him. Yeah, and we're gonna keep that in mind for a little bit later. Right now, we can just uh, put that aside in our memory banks. You get hit when you go over cross those, but, you know, it doesn't matter. And there, that guy gives you that tip about um, using the magic hammer to uh, get the magic decanters. What are magic decanters? They're the things that fill up your magic meter. Oh. So the most optimal way to get those is to uh, freeze an enemy and then to bash him with the hammer. And it, I don't know if it's guaranteed, but it's almost guaranteed that you'll get a magic meter but anyway there's just a fairy here nothing we can do so we're just gonna sign off and uh continue searching for items in the next episode and then maybe we can start a temple too if we have time sounds good all right so we'll see you next time guys bye